my name is Cody Osell. Um, I work at Brickmania. Um, I design kits in my free time and pending approval. And uh, so, uh, what are these? Uh, well, describe uh, what they are, and then we'll kind of go into more detail uh, on each one. Uh, this is an F4U Corsair, a World War II Navy airplane. Um, some key features on the airplane that I wanted to hit were the gull wing design. Um, it slopes down and then slopes back up gradually. And um, the wings fold up um, when they sit on aircraft carriers to conserve space. So I hid the hinge inside the wing. Um, and then it'll lock into place so you can fly the airplane around and then you can unlock it. That is super And slick. fold it back up. Um, the canopy folds into place. Also, what neck? That, that I love this. So it kicks back a little bit. Is that? Yeah, um, I designed it to actually slide back, um, but it would weaken the the structure in the back here. Uh -huh. um, so from point A to point B, you know, it still it still looks oh, good. Oh, that is slick. That is slick. So what what is your what is a pro? So this is a real plane, right? And so you have to kind of uh, figure out how to make this in Lego. What what is uh, what does it look like uh, building replica models? Um, well, I start with a lot of detail. This is actually my fourth version of the airplane itself. Um, so I start with the most detail I can possibly cram into it, and then to simplify it for a kit, um, make it more cost effective, um, parts need to be eliminated, um, and you just really want to keep the key features of the aircraft itself. Um, that iconic design of the Corsair is, of course, the swept wing, the gull design. Now, in the world of uh, like building model air, like these, this uh, this type of thing, I guess is the word I'm looking for, which isn't a word, it's a phrase. Uh, wh who are you inspired by? Wh what builders, in particular, do you find like their work is is uh, nice to kind of gleam a little of this and a little of that from? Um, well, I guess my hero um, is the owner of Brickmania, Dan Siskind. Okay. Um, he builds all of the vehicles that we have and. He decided to use um, my Corsair design as one of his kits, so I'm honored to be um, <laughs> able to do that. And Part of the stable? And, yeah, and, and be good enough that you know someone like Dan will approve of it. Dan the master, Dan the master. Yep. And so I've seen uh, Dan's designs uh, throughout the years um, and found Brickmania. And That's awesome. And then uh, what are we looking at here? Uh, this is an EZ-8 Sherman tank, uh, World War II American tank. Um, my version of it. Um, some key features that I really wanted to nail were the upper hull, the sloped design on the back. Um, the turret, of course, being larger. There's an earlier model of the Sherman that is smaller. This is a bit heavier and it's a bit wider. The tracks are wider than a normal Sherman tank. Okay. And uh, one of the things that I always hear LEGO designers talking about is uh, that you really have to keep in mind building for play or building for display and kind of decide which one to go for. Uh, when you build these models, do you keep uh, the thought of a child playing with it or uh, someone uh, putting it on the shelf uh, in some capacity? Uh, just like, well, what do you try to optimize for, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, you you want to make it simple enough um, while still having all the detail that you can. Um, so this, this one particularly wouldn't survive as a kit because uh, it's very complicated internally and the suspension is complicated. Um, I mean, it could, maybe, maybe an adult could, um, but a child would have a difficult time building this, <laughs> this, sure. this tank. For sure. And then moving on down, what, what are we uh, taking a look at here? Well, this is a World War II Jeep. Um, I designed originally just as a cool mock um, and then Dan Siskin wanted uh, to make it a Brick Mania kit. So I really had to refine it and simplify it a ton because it's so small. It's as close as you can get to 135th scale. Um, it's smaller than our other Jeeps. It's five studs wide, right? Yeah, it's five studs wide, which yeah. is a difficult... Um, odd, yeah. It's, it's, it's an odd number. Literally odd. And the hood on the Jeep is built um, with the acronym SNOT, which is studs not on top. And are you using that like one by two Technic where it has like a Technic pin on it? Is, or is that what I'm seeing there? Or? Uh, on the front of the... Um, it, it's, a, it's a plate. Oh. Um, oh, and then that's a, so it's like a one by two. And it has like a little technic a, hole in it, right? Yep, that's the... Okay. Yep, so that, that three of those make up the, the length of the hood. And then you notice they are going in opposite directions. Yeah. Studs are facing this way, studs are facing that way. And then I put a panel on there to get the... Um, the wheel, the wheel wheel, yeah. The wheel wheel. And then uh, what, what's like at the core of it? Is this like a Travis brick holding stuff together? Or? Um... I don't know what the piece is called. Well, it's one this piece. One it's this piece here. Oh, no, one of the, oh. 
Oh, I see. So that is super slick. That way, um, because it's a brick in the middle, Yeah. Um, it's hard to center around a brick in the very dead center because a brick is three plates wide. Okay. That's an uneven number. It's hard to build both directions. That's super slick. Now, uh, this is just uh, for my own personal interest, but what would the price point be on a model of this size? Um, I think it's going to be around fifty dollars. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. And I mean, this is like a custom, like one-off. This is not produced at the scale of a Lego set. There's not a two million production run. You're not making the elements, so uh, all of that's built into the cost. Yep. Yeah. All, all of our pieces we have to buy secondhand because we don't have any affiliation with the Lego company whatsoever. Um, we just state that we use Lego pieces. Definitely. Um, so we have to buy our pieces at cost on Bricklink. Um, so oh, they're online store. beautiful, beautiful models. I uh, look forward to maybe one day being able to purchase these myself. And Brick Mania always does wonderful work, and you are part of that. Thank you, Cody, for sharing with us. Yes, thank you.